The ruins of the ancient Roman city of Pompeii offer a tantalising peek into the world of the inhabitants. From bath houses to brothels, every need was catered for. But perhaps most important of all were the bars that offered sustenance to the masses. No less than 164 of these watering holes have been identified. But just how do you spot them in the archaeology? Time for a pub crawl. There are three main features to look out for as you stroll through the site. The first is a wide front entrance opening onto the street. A grooved threshold allowed wooden shutters to be slid into place when the bar was closed. A handy night door gave access out of hours. The most obvious feature of a bar is the service counter. Constructed of masonry and often stylishly decorated, counters were placed at the very front of the bar room perfectly positioned to offer street-side service. Some counters had a few optional extras, and it's these that point more directly to the sale of food and drink. They include large earthenware vessels that were built into the body of the counter and were used to store foodstuffs ready to be doled out to waiting customers. Another optional extra was stepped shelves on the countertop where jugs and beakers could be stored within easy reach of servers, ready to grab and fill with wine. The third must-have feature for a bar was a hearth. They were often built into the end of the counter arm, but some bars had larger freestanding hearths installed. Cooking up a storm was easy. Coals were heaped on the floor of the hearth and pans placed on top of iron tripods. Sadly, we're about 2,000 years too late for last orders, but using these tips, you can still get a taste of ancient bar life the next time you find yourself in Pompeii.